Video frequency classes. Today I am going to teach about LT Spy software, certain basics, and all the functioning of components. How to select them? How to draw all those things? So you can see here LT Spy icon. I'll double click. It should be installed in your laptop. Okay, then only you can open it. So first install it, and then with this shortcut you just double click. This kind of window will appear on your laptop screen. Okay, if you are getting this screen, it means that LT Spy software is installed and you can work it on on any circuit. So you can see here different options: file, view, tools, and help. Right now, all the options are not available. Okay, because I have not opened any file. So if I want to work on some circuits, I have to left click on this file menu, then new schematic, new symbol. If any file is already saved there, you can open it from here. Okay, so right now I am going to create a new schematic. So it's a new file now. You can see here as a draft one. Okay, so now your new file is open. Here I can play with the components and I can draw any circuit and I can simulate it. So when this plus symbol is appearing, it means your circuit is working properly. If you are going to draw it on this window. Now I'll tell you about all these functionality of the symbols. So you can see here already I told as a new schematic. <laughs> then this. is a shortcut to open the files whatever is saved inside the lt spice this option is directly if you click on whatever stage you have for the circuit it will be saved as a draft one okay and if you want to save it with certain name okay you want to give your registration number you want to give your name and want to make the file save as a so click on file left click and save as <laughs> then you can save it somewhere with name change then you can see this run button okay this will be using after <laughs> completing the circuit for simulating it okay and before this we have to use this option simulate option here we have to define the parameters if you want to simulate any circuit okay always we will use this button simulate button then you can see this plus and minus symbol this is just to zoom in and zoom out the circuit whatever circuit we will draw it <laughs> then we have this scissor option this one is when we will select the component and place it on this schematic and if i want to delete it i'll be using this option scissor button then we have the most important button wire to connect the circuits i'll explain in the due course then you can see here ground and the leveling <laughs> if you want to connect the ground to the circuit we have to hit this option and we have to select this option okay and this one is for level means if in circuit we are having different nodes input output several nodes are there so we are want to define those levels so that easily we can identify where we are measuring the voltage and current we will be using this level then we have passive components r c and l okay so from here we can select particular register capacitor and inductor and then we can define its value and its property we can change it then we have diode directly we can select diode from here okay but for whatever we will select from here it will be standard value and whatever parameters are defined inside the library after selecting it we can change its property from the library whatever already defined diodes or transistors are available we can select from the library once we will select this one and place it on the circuit <laughs> then this one is the important symbol component here we have so many components available once i'll select it we'll get it okay in the due course i'll tell then we have two options move and drag so any component what i will select i can move it across the circuit and across this schematic window and same way i can drag it in this schematic window then we have undo and redo buttons we are well aware of this then we have the rotate and mirror buttons <laughs> means whatever component we have if we want to rotate it across the axis and if we want to make a mirror image we can use this for this shortcuts are also there <laughs> i'll be telling it to you let's start with the components so first i'll select a register and i'll place it in the circuit so to select this register okay i have used the left button of the mouse <laughs> and i have selected it <laughs> now i can place different registers suppose r1 then r2 so how many left click i'll do i can place those many registers if you want to deselect just hit escape button esc escape button is available in keyboard if you click it it means it is deselected now you are free from the register you use these two register on your circuit same way if i want to select this capacitor again i'll left click and i'll bring it to this schematic and place it with left click of mouse and i'll escape press the escape button it will be selected 
same way for inductor i will select it with left click and i will place with the left click of the mouse and then escape button i will be free from the selection now i want to select the diode i can take the diode and with left click i can place it again escape now if i want to move this one at any point so just select this button move and then left click on this diode so you can see i can place it anywhere now okay and then again i can hit the escape button and i will be free from this so any component if i want to move it okay i have to select this and then i have to select that component for drag i will be using when the circuit is there if i want to make this circuit big or small i can use the drag button okay now let's come and discuss the value of this components i want to change the value of this register i want to assign certain value to this register okay so you can see here r1 and then capital r r1 is denoting the component itself okay so suppose 10 registers are there then it will be like r1 r2 r3 like that so on but their values can be changed with this symbol capital r so i'll right click on this capital r and i'll delete this and i want to write some value suppose 10 ohm so i'll write 10 press okay so now this register will act as a 10 ohm register so one option is this another option is if i'll cl right click on this symbol itself right click then i'll have better pop up window which will tell me the resistance tolerance and power rating these two are not important right now it will be used later on okay so suppose i want to change this resistance value so you can see here it is ohm if i want to make it 10 kilo ohm then i have to press 10 k if i want to make it 10 mega ohm i have to press 10 m okay so i want to make it 10 kilo ohm so i'll press okay so you can see here it is 10 k it means i can select from here itself right click again i'll write the previous value capital r so you can see now it is capital r only so either you can right click on symbol itself or you can right click on r same way for all other components see for capacitor i want to assign some value i'll right click on c and then i'll change the value to 10 so now it is acting as a 10 farad so if you want to see the parameters right click on the symbol okay if you want to change only value directly you can change from the c or r or l wherever it is written just with right click of mouse right click so if i click right click on this symbol i can see the unit is defined as a farad i want to make it 10 microfarad then you have to hit small u okay and then okay it will be acting as a 10 microfarad same way you can hit here small n 10 nanofarad or 10 picofarad like that it will act we can change the parameter values now another thing if i want to rotate this r1 so suppose i'll take another register this is now automatically taken okay it is automatically defined default values two resistances are there r1 and r2 so this third one will be r3 so it is now selected if i want to rotate it what you have to do with a shortcut control plus r see i can rotate it control r how many times you want you can rotate it and if you hit the escape button it will be deselected so it is i didn't press it just i wanted to show you how to rotate it so now see i will select with this move button also i can select this one so now r1 is selected again i can press control r and i can rotate it and then left click it is placed here so same way we can rotate any component by hitting the control and r so in keyboard if you hit control and r we can rotate any component for mirror image we have to hit the control e so suppose this one is there i'll select with move button just i selected this diode now i want to make i want to show you the mirror image of this d1 so first control r so you can see here okay diode which is placed left to right now i want to make its mirror image hit the control e button so now you can see diode is in this side okay so this way by hitting the control e we can create the mirror image of it and if you want to rotate control r and for parameter values i have already defined it now if you want to delete all these components you have to select caesar option and then cut this all the components will be deleted and again you want to be free with this caesar option press the escape button after this now i am going to show you the component icon 
just left click on this this pop up window will be opening it up here if i want to select a voltage source i'll type v o l and i can see the voltage source press okay button and then with left click you can place the voltage source now as i told you you can have the multiple voltage sources okay and you can place it until you are going to hit the escape button i will now select escape button so it is deselected now i have a voltage source okay its notation is v1 and its value can be changed with this v option capital v so i'll right click here i can change its value i want to make it like 10 volt so i'll type 10 so it will be acting as a 10 volt source okay right uh, we have not defined if you are not defining it will be acting as a dc source so if you we'll right click here <laughs> you can see dc value okay so it will be acting as a dc source of 10 volt then you can press okay some other advanced features are also there just little bit i'll discuss right click on this symbol and this advanced option if you we'll click on this you can see i can use this voltage source as a pulse option as a sinusoidal wave okay and other parameters are there and we have to define so many parameters in the due course or in my next videos i'll be explaining all those thing when we are using the transient analysis and other analysis for today's class only i'm defining the dc value okay so this is acting as a 10 volt source now the role of ground so i'll take this ground and i'll place it here so this below portion is grounded and now as i told i have to hit the escape button so i have deselected the ground so it is <coughs> the use of ground with this option we can select the ground and with left click we can place it here now i'll take a resistance so i selected the r and placed it here i'll press the escape button so now it is deselected now i want to join these two so if i want to join it already i placed ground here so again i need one ground so i have to select ground here and i have to place it here i'll select the escape button so i am free from the ground now i want to join these two item one is the voltage source another one is the resistor so with this wire i'll select this with left click now you can see this big plus option is there it means you are selected the wire option left click here now you have connected with the wire voltage v1 upper terminal and again you want to connect with the r1 so you have to left click at every point wherever you want to move it so again we'll reach here again i'll left click i'll move downwards and selected the r1 now the circuit is complete so this is a one way now i'll select the escape button so i'm free from wire i am going to make it a closed loop with one ground so for that i have to select the cut option scissor i have deleted the ground here also left click ground is deleted then escape button now i am going to make this connection and this r directly so with this wire i have selected the wire and left click here and again left click then again here left click and this one it is selected why i have done this because i can use only one ground because both the terminals are ground for this r and this voltage source so i'll select this ground and i'll place it here so both the terminals are connected and with one ground itself now i'll press escape button i am free from the ground so in today's class or in this video i have explained all the details how to select the component okay how to select the voltage source how to change their values now see i'll click right click here and r value i want to make 10k it will be acting as a 10 kilo ohm resistor so these things are done okay you can select any components you can make a circuit complete circuit with ground don't forget ground if you are forgetting the ground okay there will be a floating error okay we cannot get the exact simulated data whatever we need okay fine so till here it is clear all the components all the parameters now if you want to go for the simulation so we have to go here in the simulate option and then <laughs> edit simulation command again i'll tell in this simulate option we have to left click this window will pop up we have to go to edit simulation command open it up and then here we can see transient analysis ac analysis dc sweep then dc transfer value dc operating point so whatever we want as per our need of the simulation of the circuit we can select it so for transient response we have to select the stop time till what time we want to run the circuit so i can select here 1 millisecond for millisecond is small m and after what time i want to save data here i am not going to give anything automatically it will like zero okay and then step also if you want we can define but here just i would like to tell you how to give the transient response setting 
so you write just one milli so it will act as a one millisecond okay stop time and press okay once you press okay you will be having this kind of notation dot t r a n and 1m it means it's a transient analysis and the run time is 1 millisecond you can place it at any place okay it will be acting so once left click it is placed now it means we are having the transient analysis after this we can hit the save button it is good practice to hit save button so our circuit is saved already so this way we can perform the transient analysis now if you want to run the circuit and if you would like to say the response of the circuit so we have to hit this button run so if i'll press this button so now my circuit is simulated i have the voltage source of 10 volt and resistance of 10k and i'm doing the transient analysis for 1 millisecond so this kind of window will appear a black color window once you'll simulate it so you can see from 0 millisecond x axis to 1 millisecond we have the response now if i would like to see the voltage and current across this register so you can see once you'll bring this cursor near to this register okay so when on the symbol exactly if you keep you will see the arrow it means it will give you the current across this resistance okay and if you will bring to this node value you can see this kind of probe this will give you the voltage okay so when you have this symbol and if you left click you can see the voltage okay across this register so you can see the 10 volt in parallel okay so exactly this 10 volt is appearing across this register you can see here the 10 volt and if i'll click here with this arrow mark left click you can see the current okay which is approximately 1 milliampere okay across this register okay 10 by 10 so we'll be having the v is equal to ir with ohms law we can see what is the current here so in this video i have explained you how to connect the circuit how to define the voltage source okay how to replace them how to cut how to rotate okay all these functionality of the components ground wiring and the voltage source and how to define the transient analysis how to run it so i hope it is fine for this lecture and in the next video i'll be explaining in detail okay how to split the screens how to have the multiple screen okay how to do labeling and all this thing will be explained in the next video if you like the content kindly subscribe the channel and share it if any kind of suggestion is there please suggest in the comment box thank you for watching the video